Thank you for visiting DIY Wedding Gowns. Today's tutorial is how to make a formal headband. These are the ordinaries you will need in order to complete this project. If you need more time, feel free to pause and review the list. First, you're going to cut four ribbons, each at 10 inches long. Take the first ribbon and fold it in half. You are just going to press down on the folded end so that you will form a crease. Now that you have a crease, just open up the ribbon and bring each end of the ribbon towards that center crease. Slightly overlap it so that you can stitch and secure the center of the ribbon. Next, press each end of the ribbon so that you can form the crease again. Add glue along the stitch line and then bring the folded crease and lay it up against the glue. And you're just going to flip it over and repeat it for the other end. If you have any science background, it will actually look very similar to a chromosome. Repeat it three more times until you have four completed ribbons. Now you're going to stitch the four ribbons together along the sides, or you could even glue it together and it will look like this. Next, if you're using hairpins like I am, I just break the rhinestone off of the hairpin. And then I'm going to glue the rhinestones right after the first ribbon and right before the last one. Now I'm going to show you how I add the beads. First, you're going to secure and stitch the thread from the bottom of the hairpiece. Then stick the beading needle through the hairpiece. Drop the bead and then drop the seed bead on top. Move the seed bead slightly to the side, then bring the needle through the center of the large bead and then through the hairpiece as well. And now just add the rest of the beads to the hair jewel. What I did here was I sewed on three at one end and three in the center and three at the other end. If you like the width of this hair jewel, then all you have to do is glue it onto the headband and you're complete. However, I like mine a little bit more narrow. So what I did is I repeated the process for each ribbon by making a crease, add glue, and then folding in the crease. I really love the outcome, so I am going to glue it onto the headband, and I am complete. Thank you for visiting DIY Wedding Gowns. I hope you get inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary. If you would like to learn how to make other hair accessories, or even bridal wear, please click on one of the glitter buttons.